Donald Trump making a late announcement about key roles in his, in his administration. His picks, non-traditional and likely controversial. Among them, Elon Musk. The fulfillment of a promise Trump made very publicly during the campaign. Musk is now tasked with making big cuts inside the U.S. government. Katie Simpson is in Washington for us tonight. And Katie, Elon Musk is already promising his work will affect a lot of people. Yeah, the world's richest man will head the Department of Government Efficiency. It's new, and its mandate will be slashing government regulations and spending. Think about how Musk gutted Twitter after he bought it. He'll work with entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, a Trump ally who also ran to be the Republican nominee. Ramaswamy posting on social media, shut it down. These are two men who've not worked in government before, being asked to identify waste and make cuts and send shockwaves through the system. And it comes as Trump makes a flurry of insider picks. Florida Senator Marco Rubio hit the campaign trail with Donald Trump. His loyalty rewarded as he's expected to be Trump's pick for Secretary of State. We are going to make America not just great, but greater than it has ever been before. Thank you. They've overcome a rocky relationship, starting with the 2016 Republican presidential primary. Little Marco Rubio, he's a total disaster. But old wounds have long healed, and Rubio has extensive experience on the Foreign Relations Committee. He's also been very, very strong. Um, identifying <clears throat> and speaking to the threat that China poses. In all of America's Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee is Trump's pick for ambassador to Israel. He's long pushed for deeper ties, sometimes at odds with official U.S. policy. Uh, there is no such thing as a West Bank. It's Judea and Samaria. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a settlement. There are communities, there are neighborhoods, there are cities. Uh, there's no such thing as an occupation. Trump's choices are sending specific signals about the priorities of his administration. And some leaders in Canada are taking note. To ensure the trading relationship remains stable, there's a suggestion Canada take a harder line on China. But I'm not going to be uh, drawn down with these cheap imports taking men and women's jobs from hardworking Ontarians. Ontario's premier suggesting Mexico be kicked out of the new North American Free Trade Agreement as punishment for accepting cheap Chinese imports. The prime minister acknowledging it's a problem. Just about uh, all of our partner democracies around the world have expressed varying degrees of concern. The prime minister didn't reject Ontario's idea, but removing Mexico would upend supply chains, even if Trump may like the idea. So, Katie, another add to Trump's team, this time his pick for Secretary of Defense. It's another outsider. Yeah, Pete Hegseth, he's best known as a Fox News weekend anchor, an Army veteran who served multiple tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. He's not served in a large leadership role before, but given Canada's reliance on the U.S. for national defense, this pick is of interest to Ottawa. Absolutely. Katie Simpson in Washington tonight.